Chinese fast fashion e-commerce giant Xi'an put roots down in Canada last year. This 170,000 square foot distribution center and office in Markham, Ontario, the target of protesters Saturday. They've been found in violation of countless labor laws um, and it's just, it's not a company that we want in our own backyard. I just think that's really unethical and just they're super uneco friendly. There's so much waste produced, like chemicals in their clothing as well as like air pollution. Many protesters are Xi'an's target demographic, young women. Some representatives of China's Muslim minority Uyghur population. Tons of shipments made by the use of Uyghur forced labor enter in Canada every day. And one example is the Shein company. Lawmakers in the U.S. are pushing the SEC to audit Xi'an over allegations it uses forced labor. Canada's North American trade agreements prohibit the import of anything made with forced labor, though nothing has been seized since it was enacted. Xi'an tells Global News it's committed to respecting human rights and adhering to local laws in each market it operates in. It says it has zero tolerance for forced labor and that it has no manufacturers in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Xi'an didn't respond to questions about its environmental impact. Sustainable fashion advocates say Xi'an's supply chain is enormous and complicated. Its major fast fashion rivals offer new lines bi-weekly or monthly, but Xi'an makes thousands of new products available daily at a fraction of the cost. We say we believe in supporting better brands or brands that are thinking more um, consciously about the way they make products. But then when it comes down to actually, you know, putting our money where our thoughts are, we're not seeing that translation and that shift in behavior still. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.